Okay, I wanted to shoot a quick video for this as well, even though I know this is going to be in a written guide, but I figure it'd be easier to kind of explain it in, in as quickly as possible as well. So you have both options. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to click on new product. And this is to kind of show you how easy it is in terms of how Gumroad allows you to set up your courses. Now you're going to have to select um, classic if you're, well, you don't have to select classic. Uh, you can do pre-order if your courses or book or whatever you're trying to sell is going to be released at a future date. But for this tutorial, we're going to just leave it on Excel in classic. And I'm name a product. I'm just going to choose. I already have my course selected. And I'm going to, I don't know, we'll just put a random price. How does $4.99 sound? That sounds really good to me. All right. This isn't going to contain any physical goods. So we're not going to worry about that. So I'm going to go to next to customize. All right. Now, the whole purpose of this little quick video tutorial is to actually show you how to upload your content when you're creating your courses and everything else. So you can actually see how Gumroad's streaming features are. And I'll show you my already pre-built products so you can see that, um, how that works as everything else as well. So we have our name, description, you have your link, your thumbnail, your cover. All right. So th th those are pretty self-explanatory areas that you can actually attack yourself when it's time for you to actually create your product. But like I said, the focus of this is going to be adding the content. Do not let this little zipped icon fool you. Uh, you may look at that and think that you can only upload zipped files or zipped content here and people have to download it. We're going to ignore redirect to our URL too. So what I'm gonna show you actually here is where you upload your files. I think this is a good, a good time to actually create a folder. Let's go ahead and let's do that. So we're going to name this folder um, course one. All right. Um, opening a file. OK, just making up something here so you can actually see Gumroad's organization abilities. And I'm going to upload from my computer and do this Ronald McDonald video again. My apologies for accidentally back clicking, making that mistake. All right, perfect. All right, and then you see the little dots here it allows you to actually move your stuff up and down. I'm gonna add another folder. Maybe I'll just let it say course two, opening a window. Like I said, I'm just making up things here. All right, so now I got two folders. Now, if I wanted to organize this, I would move this and place this underneath course one. And we see it disappears because now it's under course one and then if I wanted to change the name Gumroad actually allows you to go ahead and put in details that you actually need that's going to be for your video so I would name this course one opening a file and then maybe a this would be um, the first video within this this course title and it will be maybe naming your file so once you open it up naming your file all right, and then hit the check mark and boom. And then we'll open up another video. I'll use my little Zotar clip here. We'll allow this to upload. Okay. Let this upload here. Okay. So same thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to just make sure this is within that folder. And I'm going to just do this here as well. And I'm going to name this A because this is a second sub video underneath the the umbrella flag title course and this is going to be um let me see opening your window uh, choosing a search engine okay perfect all right and we can add all the other details well i'm just right right now i'm just trying to show you that this has built-in streaming and this is how you would go about uploading uh, this is just one way you could actually name your courses and organize them put them in a way that's going to be easier for your people to follow through on your viewers so they could go ahead and go through the course in a way that's going to be in a very streamlined and simple manner as possible i'm going to actually show you my finished products because i'm not going to publish this so i'm going to go back like with everything filled out so i have all my information my use screen quick start guide all right uh, call to action summary i don't have any additional details added and i have three folders uh, and they're set up in tiers so Number one, configuring and organizing your content. So it's set up in kind of an outline fashion. And I have all my videos named properly from A to G all the way down. And I have configuring your theme in storefront. All right, A through D. Then I have setting up plans and payments, two videos underneath that. 
so properly named highly organized and they're all streamable and i have a uh, use screen course documentation uh, which has just the legal stuff and everything else and this is all viewable from uh, within the gumroad browser and app all right so we can actually if i actually go and i show you what this looks like so this is my vimeo tt quick start course and i don't have any folders for this but this is all quickly simply um, organized I just renamed the videos they're not in folders from um, video one going all the way down to video five all right and Vimeo TT quick start disclaimer my document guide there so and that's pretty much it so you see both uh, two types of courses one without the folders and one where the videos are just named as is but now we need to actually show you what this looks like on the end for when it's time for you to actually pull this up on the app and what this is going to look like all right, so since I'm on my back end, I'm going to do a test purchase so you can actually see for yourself. I'm gonna go where I want this. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so this is a test. This isn't a real card, this is a test. All right, so when you make a purchase and you click on it, uh, you have it. You don't even have to have a Gumroad account to make a purchase. That's the beauty about it. It's just an embedded payment processor. Um, Gumroad is excellent. It's an <laughs> embedded payment processor, all those things. So. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to view content. All right. If you have, you can open up in the Gumroad app as well. Let me actually, uh, let me see here, but let me show you what this looks like. And I'll show you what it looks like in the app here in a second. So if you go to configuring and organize your content, you can see that it's all organized. All right. You can view it. You can watch it from here. You can open this up upload you can also add an option to download it as well so if you need to download it you're on your desktop browser you can also do that all right go to read you can read it within the gumroad app if i click on watch all right if i click on watch a new app a new um tab opens up so i'm gonna pause that so you can actually see that's what happens so you can watch it within the computer you don't have to download anything and if I open up app it's going to say app store and play store all right so I actually have the app so why don't we go over to my phone so we can actually see what this is going to look like so real quick here on my mobile app you see that we have two applications here uh, one is for the actual content creator the other one's going to be for the actual customer or consumer so when you look here uh, because I can't actually add my own products to the mobile app, what I did was I just added the Gumroad native PDF product list that they actually offer and then uh, creating a product on Gumroad, which is the basics all in one place. So that's why you see these two things rather than my own products that I just showed you here in a previous clip from my own back end because you just really can't add it. Well, at least I don't know how to add my own products to the mobile application right now. So that's what you're seeing here in this mobile application right now at this moment in time. So you have two of them. The goal is for the content creator. The goal is for the consumer. So if you're trying to actually sell your product to the consumer, you can encourage them that they can actually view this within a mobile app. They can stream your courses anytime, anywhere. So Gumroad has really set the course creator up for success in many facets in a very simple way. So this is something to highly take into consideration when you're actually doing your courses for Gumroad.